A few days ago, I came across an interesting article called Forget Windows, Use Linux. When Googling, quite a few uh, tech magazines picked up on the article, and basically uh, it is a Linux distribution, in this case an ARC distribution, that allows Android tinkerers to make the transition from Windows to Linux in an easy way and um, this Android tools that are contained in the distribution uh, allow you to connect and to transfer data back and forth between Android based appliances. So here are some of the articles or some of the links Basically, when you boot, uh, I put this on a stick, a USB stick, and I boot it uh, machine up. In this case, it's an HP 8200, an Intel 5 processor. And since the Arch Linux that comes up then, and here we see the distribution running live, since it doesn't allow you to uh, alter the system too much I decided to install TeamViewer which is one of the install packages that are contained on the desktop and through installing TeamViewer I'm able to run it's a remote control meeting solution it's a desktop configuration file and it allows me to hook up that uh, HP computer to another machine which uh, allows me to record then the actions taken on the screen. In this case I hooked up um, a couple of devices one being a Samsung tablet it's uh, an SMT320 tablet and I hooked up um, a hard disk a Buffalo mini station which can be mounted and here you see uh, this station mounted when I open it it displays in this way uh, we'll run the test uh, recording from the Samsung tablet which is mounted as well so let me open that one and basically what I'll create or let's say what we can do here is on the on the card um, in the download section there is uh, a book by Jay Lacroix on Linux Mint Essentials. What I'll do is I'll transfer that PDF from the tablet onto the hard disk. So let's just create a new folder and let's call it FWUL uh, test folder which then sits on the Buffalo mini station and I'll just transfer it over to here there we go on the tablet I'll delete it so permanently delete it yes now we've got it sitting out on the Buffalo mini station and we can easily transfer it back and forth now the nice thing about these, uh, the fact that this Linux distribution or the utilities they put on there um, allows you to access not only uh, regular Android tablets or phones, my uh, Microsoft Lumia Android th no, Windows phone is recognized just as well, but it allows you also to access and deal with the medium uh, tablets which all by themselves you know you cannot transfer data back and forth well you can read from an uh, external card or an, an SD card that's inserted but you certainly cannot go from the internal card on a medium and move things onto the uh, SD card that's inserted strangely enough the only device that does not work is my Samsung Galaxy S whatever three or four I can't even remember but there I can always uh, retrieve the photos by removing the SD card I told you that there are um, desktop configuration files 
just as an example, let's uh, let's uh, install the Chromium installer, uh, the Chromium browser. So it requires the sudo password, which comes with the distribution. It's called Linux. The user is called Android, and so the password being Linux. And with the proper installer, it allows you to install the software that they have planned, that the developers have planned. So let's see. Um, we should have now. Oh, here it is. Chromium. So let's open up Chromium password. Okay, we'll just continue. We we cancel the key ring. It should come up now. Okay, it's a bit slow. Let me double click again. I can uh, briefly show you the system then, either by going through the start button here we see uh, the accessories the accessories being a manager a renamer uh, a simple text, text editor screenshot uh, tuner file manager development q14 whatever okay the password let me just say the password for the new key ring let's make this linux okay Passwords do not match. I need to confirm the password. Let's make it Linux again. And does this make a difference? Well, let's carry on here. The uh, development, the internet. The internet, we have browsers, the Chromium, HexChat, the Otter browser, and TeamViewer 12, which is running. The system itself has got Valkyrie name, an editor, login window new login uh, ux term whatever these are and the settings which allow me to the settings for instance the display i had to adjust on my office machine so i adjusted it to a screen resolution of 1280 by 720 refresh uh, rate 60 hertz um, now is the browser running meanwhile no not yet uh, let's try to install the Firefox if we're lucky with that one as a matter of fact I got to install the chromium uh, in a previous tryout and that seemed to work now the password being Linux so this is a live installation and the information is read into the machine. Okay, the package is being installed. Successfully installed. So let's see if we're lucky with Firefox starting it. I just hope that it doesn't install it. Let's take a look here on the view. Um, scaled mode not that it installs yes that's exactly what happened so basically let me pull over the the Firefox and the other browser into the screen window one so and uh, this is a problem in displaying so here we go chromium don't import anything next finish so here we should have then the Firefox web browser if we minimize that one here we've got the Chrome browser so it was not visible in the first place because it uh, let me just test it RTLLU so yes yeah, so in in fact it uh, is live and here we see again another bad news two car bombs exploded just now and that is also the end of the recording of why linux might be your future choice or forget windows use linux instead <laughs>